So, Vita Video 5. Uh, good news, got my glasses fixed, so I'm not wearing my backups anymore. And I can actually see. So, I was asked to watch the 1989 classic Italian horror movie, Killer Crocodile. Unfortunately, that movie is not available in English easily. So instead, I watched the 1990 movie, Killer Crocodile 2. This movie is directed by Giannotti Di Rossi, who was the person who created the crocodile. He also did all the zombie effects for the Fellini movie, Zombie. Uh, and it is fantastic. Uh, there are some boring parts, but other than that, there is so much stuff in this movie that is just fantastic. Starts off with these people are windsurfing and get eaten by a crocodile. And there's a great line by the woman, I don't like to not have clothes on. It makes me feel naked. Groan. But it's still terrific. I swear they were in an ocean for that scene, and the rest of the movie takes place in a river. I don't know why they were in an ocean, but the crocodile teleports, apparently. Uh, meanwhile, some bad guys are removing barrels from the swamp, and we learn that they painted toxic on the side of the barrels, even though the barrels aren't really toxic. Why did they not just remove the toxic barrels? Nobody knows. But they didn't. A reporter figures out that they lied. And he is immediately killed when he figures this out. So they send a female reporter to further investigate. A missionary nun with kids is eaten by the crocodile. A house is eaten by the crocodile. It jumps through into a house, spreads its legs out, and drags the entire house into the swamp. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the bad guy, who is supposed to remove all the toxic material, figures out the reporter is there, has her followed, and the guy he sends to follow her is eaten by the crocodile. But never fear, our hero is here. Forty minutes in, our main character finally shows up. His name is Kevin, and he killed the crocodile in the original movie. Uh, his dad is famous. His dad's name is Richard Crenna. He was on Real McCoys in the 50s. And um, he was even on Judging Amy later on. So, yeah, his dad's really famous. Him, not so much. So he goes, tells his buddy Joe, who was also in the first movie, that there's another crocodile. And Joe doesn't believe him, but goes with him anyways. And Joe is eaten within four minutes. <laughs> so, eventually... He, uh, Kevin finds our girl, say, played by a woman named Deborah Carr, saves her, and brings her back home, where she immediately says, and I quote, now this is the best pickup line in the history of movies, fear and near-death experiences heighten and arouse a human being's reproductive organs. And then she just takes her clothes off. And his only response is, well, my dad told me you learn something new every day. So they make out, and then it's morning, and they're making TNT to go hunt a crocodile. Uh, he ends up riding the crocodile. He, gra he jumps on it. It tries to drown him. It keeps dunking him underwater over and over. And every time he comes in the air and shaking him around, he's still holding on. And eventually, she throws him dynamite. He somehow lights it with his magical waterproof matches and boom, blows it up. And the dynamite, thankfully, uh, blows up in different sections. So you get like seven explosions out of four sticks of dynamite. So that's good. Uh, yeah, this movie is just spectacular. 
is so badly done. And if you don't understand the plot because you didn't watch the first one, is a direct sequel to the first one. It takes place seconds after the first one ended. So if you didn't see the first one, you have no idea what's going on. And it makes it even better. Uh, yeah, so that's Killer Crocodile 2. I loved it. Uh, the crocodile effects are awesome. Like I said, they're done by Gina De Rossi. He did a bunch of films for Fellini. And he's really, really good at what he does. And he still makes monster effects to this day for major films. So, uh, yeah, I definitely checked this one out. It's on YouTube. It's easy to find. Uh, I'll link part one in the description. So, yeah, back to doing movie reviews. Thank you for watching, and as always, I shall try to do better next time.